I've had the pleasure of knowing Carl since the bright young age of seven. I still remember to this day the vivid image of Richard showing Carl and I how to do long jump on one of the first nights. <laughs> However, with age comes maturity, and with maturity, Carl started talking to the beautiful lady on my right, Holly. Folks, how did we get to this point today to see these two amazing humans get married? Well, this relationship started where all the best ones start. Tinder, baby, Tinder. I have to admit, I was a tad annoyed when you two first started dating because Carl left my 25th birthday on the Central Coast to go on a date with you. And Carl said we hit it off like wildfires. Carl was smitten from the get-go with her beautiful blue eyes and her very big smile. <laughs> As Holly said, oh, he's shy, he's a bit attractive. Oh, I did not say that. On this particular occasion, it was Carl's birthday and Holly had thrown him one hell of a party and he was drinking. The tipping point was the next morning when we found Carl sleeping in an empty bathtub <laughs> so that he didn't wake Holly. And I thought, damn, <laughs> she should marry that guy. <laughs> Over the last few years, watching Holly and Carl develop as a couple, Holly's vivacious energy is balanced perfectly by Carl's capacity to meet her energy head on. And don't get me started on how extra they both are about Christmas tree decorating. <laughs> May this next chapter in your life be filled with as much joy and laughter as these last few years have been. To Holly and Carl. <laughs> To my wife Holly. Every day, especially tonight, you have lined up my world. My dear wife, you have made me the happiest man in the world and I look forward to a life together and the journey ahead. A couple talks through sidewalks by the water. <laughs> it just never gets old being married to someone you love. <laughs> I congratulate Holly and Carl on their marriage and wish them every success and prosperity into the future. But now as I look at my son and his beautiful wife, I can't help uh, but feel proud of the man he is and that he's found someone who loves him and that's all a father can ask. To my darling daughter, you look absolutely radiant and I love you with all my heart. I remember all those years ago in Singapore, holding in her arms as a newborn baby and thinking, this is the greatest moment in life. And through the years, that feeling has not changed. I've always been supremely impressed by her commitment and excellence. To my husband, Carl. <laughs> I absolutely adore you and I love you. I never imagined I'd meet someone who fits so perfectly with me. You make me incredibly happy every day I'm with you and I can't wait to spend a lifetime of love with you. Holly, you're the love of my life, my rock and my best friend. I promise to love and cherish you. I will trust you and respect you. I further commit to give you more kisses and cuddles than I give our boy Jet. And we'll make sure you don't trip over his pyramids in the backyard. <laughs> I promise to be the best husband to you and I am looking forward to the next wonderful chapter of starting a family and being the best father I can be. I give you my hand, my heart, my love for all the days of our lives. I love you. Carl, you are the most important person in this world to me and the love of my life. Your cuddles and kisses on hard days and good days is what I look forward to most. As I stand before you today, I promise to continue to be the loud one and the late one. 
while you're always quiet and always on time. Today, I vow to be the best wife, mother and friend I can be. And I promise to spend the rest of my days loving you unconditionally. Let me introduce you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Heinrich, everybody. Yeah.